Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Susan Brennan here for our weekly episode of Growth and Grace. Good morning. I'm feeling oddly really alert this morning. I mean, not odd. I'm a morning person, but this morning for some reason, just like extra energy. So if you need a little extra energy, if you're just not quite feeling it, there you go. All right. Enjoy. Happy Thursday and uh, welcome. This morning, I, I have a uh, reminder set in my calendar every week. I kind of live by reminders and alarms. And um, I have one set every week to like decide what I'm going to talk about and what's the topic going to be and all of this. And I have one picked out. Good morning, Becky. Hi, dear friend. Good morning. Um, I had a topic all picked out, all prepared. I had a little like cute little title for it. And then I was reminded by our mailman, inadvertently, he didn't know he was reminding me, but when I went to get my mail, I was reminded, this is what I want to talk about. So that's what we're going to talk about today is, are you a hundred percent sure that that's what happened? Because here's, here's what happened. And I now am a hundred percent sure that this is what happened. So this is interesting. So back in December 2018, and if you're watching the recording of this, this is being recorded in mid-March 2019. Back in early December 2018, I um, had an experience. It was a great experience, and I'm very grateful for it. And I sent a thank you note to the person who facilitated the whole deal. And I sent them a thank you note. And this is like a a high profile person, I guess you would say, like they've, they've, they're well known and they have a full schedule. And, um, and I sent them a thank you note. I got the address, a uh, little tip for you. If you ever want to send something to someone, you can grab the little address at the bottom of their email that they send. Like you have to have an address at the bottom of them. So I grabbed that address and wrote them a thank you note, sent it to them early December, 2018. Now, it takes some time for the mail to arrive, right? So I'm like, a week goes by. And it was like a really nice thank you note. Not to brag, but you, you get to know what was there. It was a really nice thank you note. And included in it was an incredibly generous gift certificate. Like a noticeable gift certificate. And I will say also, not all gift certificates have to be monetary. Ha ha. Sometimes you just need to know what they would love and give them that. So anyway, this was a, one of those. And so I knew I would hear from them and I like know them ish. Like we've met a few times, like they would know, they would be like, Oh, Susan. Yeah, no, we've met a few times. We don't know each other well at all, but enough to where the name would, would pull for them. And, um, so I send them this and I'm like, I know, that I will be seeing them periodically, you know, uh, once or twice a month, maybe. And like, they'll say something like they're very thoughtful. They're very kind. They, that is something they would do. So I go about and I'm like, I don't hear anything. We're connected on social media, but I'm like, I'm, I didn't hear anything for like a week, but you know, it's, it's, it's picking up holiday season It's starting. And so they, you know, mail just is taking a little longer. A couple weeks go by, nothing. A few weeks go by, I end up seeing them, him and his wife, and they don't say anything. And I'm not going to say anything. Like, I don't feel like I need to bring it up and, like, draw attention to it. But they don't say anything. And so I'm like, okay. And I didn't really think much of it until after. And I was like, oh, interesting. I wonder if they ever got it. And I'm like, surely they've got it. It was, like, almost a month ago. Nothing, nothing. A couple more times where I see them and they don't say anything. I'm like, this is so weird. I know they're busy and they've got kids. And like, I know there's a lot of things going on and I, like, I get it. Okay. And sometimes I forget to mention something to someone if I received what they sent or yeah, I get it. But I'm like, but it's been several times on. It was like a really generous gift. <laughs> so I hope they got it because I also want them to be able to cash it in. Well, Mid-March rolls around, and wouldn't you know what got returned to me in the mail? Three and a half months later, you guys, 
three and a half months later. What? And I honestly, I received it and they put the little sticker over the front, the post office does saying something like, you know, unable to forward or something. And I honestly couldn't remember. I was looking at it and I was like, happy holidays. The little stamp that they put over the, over the stamp says happy holidays. I'm like, holidays, like what did I send the holidays? It was not pulling because holidays were months ago. And when I took the sticker off to see what was under it, it peeled the entire address off. But, but then I could read the back of it. I was like, oh my, oh my gosh. And so I opened it because I'm like, I hadn't even remembered what I'd sent, right? Oh, it's this little note. This little can't return, like return to sender, no forwarding address. Um, and so I open it and it's this pretty thank you note. Like it's very nice. And I wrote a whole thank you note and included the gift certificate and everything. Anyway, they've never received it. So isn't that just the craziest how we can make up so many stories in our head and, and the example, like this is one example, but I know we've all had it where we like send a text message and it doesn't get a response or we send another text message and it doesn't get a response and we make up the most insane stories about how, oh my gosh, our friendship is over and oh my gosh, and I can't believe they didn't respond and I would never do that to anyone. And, and we go down this whole trail of like, that's so rude. I can't believe they didn't respond to my text. I sent them a text. Okay. I'm just going to say it because there have been times where I genuinely didn't receive a text. So I know that there are times where I send a text and it's genuinely not received on the other end. Like, I don't know what happens to it midair, but it, it doesn't make it to its destination. So like sometimes things are just not received by the people that you send it to. And it's not because they're, they hate you and they're angry at you and friendship is over. Sometimes it's not delivered. So I really, the reason I'm saying this is because it's so easy to get in a tornado of chaos and making up fake stories that are not true in our minds because what actually happened isn't logical. That's not like three months it took to get that letter back to me. I don't know. I don't get it. I can send a letter to someone and they get it in like a couple days, sometimes the next day. I don't know. For whatever reason, this took three months to get back to me. So it just is an interesting thing to consider as you're communicating with people or as you're having experiences with them that you actually don't know the full truth until you find out. And for me, this was finding out. I could have asked them and said, hey, you know, did you by chance receive it? Like, I want to make sure you guys got it. No, they haven't received it. Like, <laughs> it didn't get delivered. So just know when we're in that sort of thing, like, and I'm in a season right now following up with people because I'm working on my book and I'm in, I'm like interviewing some people that have a lot going on. And so you can't just expect, I mean, you can, you can set whatever expectations you want, I guess, but they're going to, likely be disappointing to you if you do. I would recommend against expecting everyone to respond to every text you send. Like, I just want to keep it that straightforward because it's not anything personal against you if they don't. We've all opened a text message and then, you know, gotten distracted by something and accidentally closed out without responding. It's happened to all of us. We've all open a text message and we're like starting to write a response and then it gets erased and we're like, Oh, never mind. Okay. I'll respond later. And then we forget to respond later or we write a response and we send it and we hit send. And so we think it's good and we forget to check and realize that it actually failed to send. So they never received it, but, or we send it, it goes through successfully. It still doesn't get delivered. Like those are all very common as much as we don't want to admit that it, it happens to us, it's very common for those things to happen. So I just, I'm really, I, what I really want to highlight for you is to not make up stories because you genuinely don't know. It is extremely rare 
that the person doesn't respond because they're genuinely upset with you and they just don't want to talk to you. Like that's super, super rare, super rare. And if you feel like that's the case, may I recommend a phone call or an in-person conversation and not trying to communicate via text? And I say that I'm so guilty of trying to have conversations via text and just, it doesn't work. Conversations, back and forth conversations, not on text. No, no. Anyway, that's kind of a wah, wah, wah uh, direction that this went. But I just, I'm, it's so sad to hear people talk about like just, oh, I, th I just feel like maybe our friendship is on the rocks and I just don't know. And I, I mean, I haven't heard back. And it's one text you sent one time. If it's an ongoing theme with someone not responding to your text, and I've had that too, where eventually they respond and they're like, I'm so sorry, I've been so crazy busy and I just, I know that this is like causing a riff in our friendship and I haven't been reaching out, yada, yada, yada. They go on their whole story. It happens. Okay, you can decide whether or not you want to keep putting energy into that or not. Totally up to you. But it's rare that that's, that the reason that it's happening is because they like don't want to be friends. It's usually that they're just getting really busy and things come up. So like let yourself tell a different story and recognize legitimately it may be lost in the mail <laughs> for months because that happens. And it just, it was so funny to reopen this and think, oh my gosh, that's what it was. I sent this in early December, mid-March it shows up at my doorstep, not where I mailed it. Uh, excuse me. But anyway, make up stories that have you not feel like you're questioning your worth because it's not you. I don't know what happened with that letter, but not me. I sent it. It sent successfully. Then it boomeranged <laughs> the modern day. Well, it's not really modern day. Still snail mail. But you guys, that's kind of a long drawn out way of saying just don't make up stories that don't serve you, pretty much. Or find out what's going on. Like, actually ask them. Hey, just want to make sure, did you receive the text? Ask them in person next time. Or send them a follow-up text. I've been sending so many follow-ups lately to people. And they're not like, um, excuse me, hello, respond to my message. You can be kind about it. Say, hey, check it in. want to make sure you got that. Do you have any questions I can answer? Is there anything I can clarify for you before we move forward? Hey, just want to verify, we talked about meeting on this date and time. Does that still work for you? Like, follow up. It's up to you. If you want to bring that to completion, you get to be part of bringing that to completion. So follow up, find out, or let it go. At that point, like when I didn't know what was happening, I was just like, well, I'm, it'll, it'll get to them if it needs to get to them. Or like, they'll at some point cash it in and years down the road, I might get a call and saying, hey, <laughs> we're ready to cash it in. I don't know. I didn't know until this came back to me and it wasn't, um, I was like willing to just kind of let it flow and maybe they got it and they just forgot to mention it. Very possible. And it didn't trigger like anything that we were, when we were together, nothing triggered them to be like, oh my gosh, that's right. We totally forgot to let you know we received that and thank you. And you know, we'll let you know when we want to cash in. So, you know, you can, you can choose to, Go after it till it's complete, or you can choose to like let it go and be at peace about letting it go. Anyway, that's a whole different Facebook Live, so I won't take your time with that specific thing this morning. But you know, if you don't 100% know what happened, don't make up stories about what happened because pretty much, and I'm speaking from personal experience, pretty much 0% of the time are the stories that I'm making up completely accurate. So take it from someone who's experienced a lot of, oh, okay, that's not how it went uh, moments because I was making up fake stories. Don't make up fake stories. Find out or let it go. Okay? Okay. With that, you guys, take some extra energy for your day. It's yours for the taking. And we're just in time for my uh, wrap it up reminder alarm. And we'll see you guys next week. 
6 a.m. Pacific, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern for Growth and Grace here on Thursdays. And until then, have a magnificent, incredible day.